and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm doing Sephora Australia gift ideas. Uh, if you're overseas these could potentially be in your local makeup stores and it might just be some other ideas. Theoretically the makeup video went up yesterday and today is Sephora. So I've chosen 10 items that I think are worth checking out to if you're looking to buy someone some makeup. So starting off I went for the Fenty Summer Lip. I have some of these products, some of these are presents. I do have my own. So I brought, my sister requested this one, this is the Uncensored Lip. I can't swatch it because it's a present. But I bought myself Uncuffed. They are all different formulas, but a fun gift for someone could be that really nice red lip or the, you know, if you can think of a color that you do like. So this is mine. They are painful to try and figure out where to store, but they're definitely like, a statement piece and I don't think you're and I think I think someone would appreciate this if they like lip products and they're just curious they might just want to try out the Fenty brand there's actually more Fenty on here than I expected then at number two I went for the Fenty bomb baby mini lip now I don't have it on me but this is I did buy this kit when it came out initially this is the diamond milk lip balm a lot of people do really rave about this and the other one is about half the size and it's really nice a lot of people like it it does however come with the kilowatt highlighter in hustler baby it's nice it's well, actually it's nicer than I thought but it's very gold very sparkle highlight so I think this could definitely be uh, you could use it as an eyeshadow and stuff and I think pretty much anyone would like the gloss bomb that one runs for $32, so it's just a nice simple gift to get for someone. But because it's quite small, they might be a bit, mm, depending if they know the pricing of stuff. One of my recommendations, and this is something, as a gift, you, they can return it if they don't like it. But the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes, they run for $48 Australian, and there's a huge range of them. These are the ones that I have. So they can be really fun to just look through and sort of see, you could buy a palette based on what you think that person likes and that's something I would absolutely love. I'd love it for someone to buy a colorful palette based on what they thought I would like. And the cool thing with the Huda Beauties is like, she's just got the gem series out at the moment. So there's the green one, the blue one, the red one. I forgot the other one, but she's got some really cool little eyeshadow palettes. Uh, in a whole different range of, for a lot of different people. And I think, um, I think if you put a lot of thought into a, the kind of person you're getting them for and what kind of eye looks you see them wearing and then you chose an Obsessions palette for them, they would really love it because they are. They're just lovely to use. Uh, Pixie have quite a few sets and I've been in love with my Pixie Glow Cleanser that I bought a while ago. And they, so the Pixie Fast Facial Set for someone who's really into skincare at $35. I think that could be a really nice little, a little gift for someone and they would really appreciate it. Pixie is definitely one of those brands that is everywhere on social media. Number five, the Laneige Dream and Glow Lip Sleeping Mask. So I do have this. I couldn't bother going to get it. I have mixed feelings about it, but it is only $26. And it's a very moisturizing lip balm. For me, I think I found it more dries me out than works, but it is very luxurious. I don't find it does the instructions because it says like put it on at night and keep it on and then like scrub off the dead skin in the morning. That doesn't work for me. But it does give me a bit of moisture if I'm really desperate for some. Oh, but what I have been loving is the bite Beauty Agave mask and this is a set this is probably about the same size I would go between the Laneige if they're really into social media they're going to appreciate it but the Bite Beauty little three mini pack of lip balms they have they've been stunning and they they're not like a night mask you can just put them on as a really moisturizing thing um, and they come in a cute container another cool gift for someone could be the Benefit Ace That Face at $45 Australian We can't swatch it, okay? So this is a Conceal Contour Bronze and Highlight Palette. Oh, I don't wanna, I'm sorry. 
let me just take that off and it's just got like it's got the hula bronzer in there it's got two boing concealers and a what's up I should realize, oh they're three creams and one powder a true makeup lover would probably hate this <laughs> because mixing powders and creams is a no-no I think I think a lot of people could like this I think it's a really like if you know that person who loves to bronze it up no oh, the hula bronzer this is a good palette for someone's everyday use and uh, someone who's probably getting a little bit more into makeup or you've had them question about concealer or stuff like that I chose this one because my sister wanted an under eye concealer and I couldn't find any with really good reviews the Boing has pretty decent ones and having hula bronzer in there and I know she's gonna love that um one of my favorite items has been going and I'm pretty sure this could be a mini so I got this in a pack last year but this is the highbrow eyebrow highlighter this runs for $38 but the highbrow eyebrow lighter this has been like a staple for me this year and it's just so easy to do the eyebrow highlight which pretty much a lot of people do do and I think this is a great gift to get anyone who you knows into really colorful or just really intense eye looks the ABH mini lip gloss set I actually haven't tried any of the ABH lip gloss formulas but they are very well received and a lot of people love lip gloss it's like in trend so I think this little kit could be the perfect gift for someone and number nine and ten these are sort of uh, a combination of different things but I really think what could be a fun thing to do is to look at all the cream pot eyeshadows at Sephora they've got Marc Jacobs, Natasha Denona and Tarte have them all so and they're all run about the same price I think 30 to 40 dollars oh Tom Ford have some amazing ones but they, they look really expensive and then you can choose a color that you think that person would really like so this is the Tarte and I've got Rosé which is a duochrome pink gold and I, I just I really love I love a little pot eyeshadow when it's something a little bit extra special I've got some Natasha Denona and this is the lavender lavender gold and silver pigment this one's a bit more of a drier formula I probably wouldn't go for this one if it's someone who's not super into makeup just because the pigment's a bit weird but the Marc Jacobs and the Tarte ones seem to be really nice and it's a really cute little gift to get someone if you were to go into Sephora and go look around for a colour that you think they'd really love I think that could be like a really nice little present for someone but the cream eyeshadows are sort of making a bit of a a bit of a comeback and number 10 if you're going a little bit more expensive one of the Sephora favourite packs now I say this in Australia because this is the first year we've ever had them so if people buy them hopefully they'll come back next year and we'll have better ones I bought the Sephora makeup favorites and I love all the products in it I fall in love with that mascara um, the highlighter and as my collections got bigger having minis of everything is my favorite thing the cover of X highlighter I've got benefit professional around I've got I've really enjoyed having the products in my collection and I definitely recommend them um so one of those packs for someone who is super into makeup or just getting into makeup they have a skincare one and I just think they're a great idea anyway I hope you have enjoyed my Sephora recommendations if you can I'd go into store and swatch them and then I'd order them online because usually in store they're not on stock but online you're gonna get three guaranteed samples well, at the moment is pick three samples when you spend $120 or more and I think you do yet I think I feel like it's free shipping over $50 and I'd say I'd probably would rec like around the same time that Mecca are recommending that you order I definitely try and order this by the 18th if you're ordering online but I think this could be a fun little gift for any makeup lovers that you may have around um, and I hope you've enjoyed thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you Mwah. Thank you.